Simon, thanks very much for seeing us today. Now, no, no uh, Rick's just given me this, and I'm really yeah. interested in it, the Fifth Commandment. Tell yeah. me all about it, and you're, um, what's your involvement in this? Uh, well, basically, I, I was originally supposed to be playing the brother um, in the movie, but because of my um, solo commitments and uh, my blue commitments at the time, I wasn't able to do so. So uh, a few days later, he calls me up and he says, look, we need some songs. Can you help me out with the music? You know, I really, really want you to be involved in this. It's independent. You know, this is something we could do together. So from then, it was just all systems go. I sent him a few songs from a couple of girls that I was looking after. Also a couple of guys as well. And all of the songs just got accepted. So when I went wow. to Los Angeles, we was there doing the DI, the colouring of the film and um, editing it together as well. So I mean, we didn't know what we were doing at the end of the day, but you know, I'm a movie buff. I've watched enough movies, I think, in, in the last 30 years to, to, to have an idea of what needs to go where. So, yeah. you know, it was, it was great. It was, I also did it with a guy called Paul Hesslinger, who did uh, Underworld. Yeah. The scoring for yes. Underworld. So when it was over there, I just, you know, I adapt to my environment very, very easily. So they call me Simon the Pieman, fingers in all sorts of pies. Simon the what? Pieman. <laughs> <laughs> Simon the Pieman. <laughs> Remember the nursery rhyme? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> So, but I mean, I'm, I've been burnt a few times with a hot, few hot pies here I, and there. Yes, well, I have you know. had that rumour. Yeah. Yes, because you, you've got a bit of a bad boy rep, haven't you? Um, the, street, the, the, street, are the streets talking? Other than yes. that. I mean, I, I, I'm, 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 I wouldn't say a bad boy. Um, not necessarily. You're a bit naughty. Yeah, yeah, a little bit blue. That's good though, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, keeps people on their toes, keeps me, keeps, keeps me alive. Now, when I was, I told a few friends I was interviewing you uh, today, uh -huh. some of my girlfriends and some of my uh, male friends asked me to ask you about your body. Okay. Because they saw you in the, saw you in the jungle. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. of course, they all want to know how you get such a body, how you keep it. It's, um, I'm, I'm actually going to be releasing um, something for your mobile phone pretty soon. It's called like the Salmon Web Workout. And, um, you know, a lot of people do DVDs. So I come up with the idea to basically do it on a mobile phone because everybody takes their mobile phone to the gym. Yeah. But you, but if you have a DVD, you sometimes you might forget the exercise, so you can just have it and upload it. Um, but for me, it took me about 16 weeks of training to get into the shape that to, you got into for the jungle. Yeah, but I was already doing that, and in four but weeks. You've always been very jungle, fit, though, haven't you? Even yeah. in blue, you were always the, the fit one. Yeah, I, tr I tried. I mean, before blue, I was in the gym four days a week um, for two hours a day. Uh, and then once Blue started it, I just had to rely on push-ups and sit-ups, you know, and, um, you know, you pick up anything that was around you and, and use it as a weight or something. Um, and then, you know, my fitness started to slip and then we'd do tours and then your fitness would go up, but then you'd end up losing a lot of weight. And yeah. Like, so it's, a, it's about a lot, it's about balance. You're like, I wanted to gain muscle, so I went on a 16-week course. And then in the last four weeks, ITV came in and said, look, we really want you to do the jungle, how can we persuade you? So I said, look, as long as it, the money goes to my charity, I, I sort of, I want it. it's all about making a difference for me. It's not about the publicity, it never was. I mean, I've had a lot of opportunities to, you know, take advantage of the publicity that I've had and do lots of other stuff, but it was, it's not. I didn't I'm, know I'm that. that. The money you right earned now. for the jungle went to your charity? Oh, yeah. What yeah. charity is that? It's the Afro-Caribbean Leukemia Trust. So basically, anyone um, you know, of mixed race or black, yes. it's like if you if you need a bone marrow transplant, it's one it's one in two hundred and fifty thousand. You'll find to find a donor. If you're Caucasian, it's one in five. I have no idea. Yeah. So the really? awareness. Yeah. So actually, that's great because I didn't know that. Yeah. Just, just I mean, when you when you're in the public eye, it's up to you to raise awareness. So when I was on the show, how does no one know about that? No, that well, I got told off when I was there. They said. You can't keep mentioning your charity. I said, well, that's the whole reason why I'm here. And it was like, well, no, no, it's for a TV show, you know, you've got to entertain. So, you know, there was that side of it. But at the end of the day, you know, I think I raised over a hundred grand for, 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 for the charity, for which I would never would have done if I yeah. did an auction or yeah. anything like that. So, for me, it's, like I say, it's not about the fame or the money anymore, it's about making a difference. And, um, you know, we've got about five different projects going on right now. This group, you know, the Mayfair Hotel is, a, is always a great location where we have meetings and, yeah. you know, like, to be honest, a lot of good clients come through here, you know, a lot of good contacts, high rollers who want to get into the movie business or want to get into the music world that, but just don't know how, so it's great to meet people 
Um, well, it's great having you stay because I mean, you know, you could clearly stay wherever you wherever you want yeah, to. Yeah, oh, man, it's amazing. But you choose to stay here, and that's yeah, lovely. All the time, all the time. I always, I always tell my friends. I'm, next time um, when uh, George Takai comes over, he said he's, he wants to, he'd love Good, to stay here. Great. I told him all about I'd it. Love to have him. Um, so that that's a promise that for me, from Good. me to you. And uh, you know, I'm telling all my friends about it. All great. my friends. Well, we're very glad to have you. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks ever so much. No problem. Thanks. Thank you.